The Big Bang Theory is a scientific theory as well as a theory on which we base our existence. If scientists had a consensus that this theory was wrong, it would be shocking to all of us. The Big Bang Theory is a theory that has experienced many crises as well as being unrivaled. Can these crises lead to a new scientific revolution that will result in us abandoning the Big Bang Theory? We will look for the answer to this question in the philosophy of science, in Kuhn's paradigm shift. Then, within the framework of Kuhn's paradigm shift, we will examine the crisis that the Big Bang Theory has experienced in recent years and what kind of consequences these crises can lead to. According to Thomas Kuhn, science does not develop through accumulation. The history of science is a history of revolutions. Scientists have a worldview of paradigm. For a time, the paradigm provides a model for the community of practitioners in problems and solutions. This model is a universally agreed-upon success. Scientists accept the dominant paradigm until anomalies appear. Scientists then begin to question the basis of the paradigm, and new paradigms emerge that challenge the dominant paradigm. And finally, one of these new theories is accepted as the new paradigm. According to Kuhn, the history of science begins with the transformation of pre-scientific references into normal science by consensus. Normal science means establishing a paradigm that lays the foundations for its legitimate study within the discipline. Puzzles that resist resolution within the paradigm are seen as anomalies. Scientists are confident the anomalies will be explained in time. Therefore, anomalies are tolerated and do not lead to a rejection of the theory. Scientists spend most of their time dealing with emerging anomalies. Normal science is not expected to be critical, otherwise it would be impossible for scientists to carry out detailed research. If anomalies seriously undermine the basic assumptions of the paradigm and attempt to eliminate these anomalies consistently fail, a crisis ensues. Paradigm change takes place with this crisis. First, ideas that challenge the current paradigm develop. If the anomalies can be resolved, the crisis ends, and normal science continues. If the anomalies cannot be resolved, a scientific revolution involving a paradigm shift takes place. According to Kuhn, a new paradigm is established as a result of the scientific revolution. The reason for the transition to the new paradigm is not logical, but largely psychological and sociological. The idea that the new paradigm better explains the observations becomes the generally accepted idea. Different paradigms are considered incomparable. The new paradigm cannot be proven or disproved by the rules of the old paradigm. The Big Bang Theory is the fundamental paradigm of today's science. When scientists encounter anomalies in the Big Bang paradigm while doing science, They try to solve the problem by adding new additions to the theory instead of switching to a new paradigm. But with each passing year, the anomalies encountered in the Big Bang Theory are increasing, and many theories are constantly emerging that rival the Big Bang Theory. But none of these theories seems to be candidates for replacing the Big Bang Theory for now. Therefore, we can clearly say that there is a crisis. To understand the crisis of the Big Bang, let's briefly examine what anomalies the Big Bang Theory encountered. The first of the anomalies in the Big Bang Theory is related to light elements. The Big Bang Theory predicts that a certain amount of light elements such as lithium, helium, and deuterium must have been produced in the explosion that is supposed to have started the universe. According to the prediction about the amount of lithium There should be 400 lithium atoms for every trillion hydrogen atoms. However, measurements of lithium abundance in ancient stars in our galaxy showed that the Big Bang Theory predictions were incorrect. Stars are known to form early in our galaxy's history because they have very small amounts of iron and other heavy elements produced by pre-existing stars. In most of these stars, Lithium abundance is only 160 lithium atoms per trillion atoms. 
well below Big Bang estimates. Another anomaly in the Big Bang theory is related to matter-antimatter annihilation. Another prediction of the Big Bang theory is that the Big Bang's intense radiation would produce matter and antimatter in equal amounts. According to this prediction, as a result of the mutual annihilation of particle and antiparticle pairs, the density of surviving matter should decrease to about 10 to the power of minus 17 protons per cubic centimeter. However, observations have shown that the density of matter in the universe is at least 10 billion times higher than the Big Bang's estimates. Scientists have proposed unknown asymmetries between matter and antimatter to solve this problem, but this has never been observed in the experimental setting. Another anomaly in the Big Bang theory related to very large structures. According to another prediction of the Big Bang theory, the universe should start homogeneously and small structures should grow over time. But as telescopes plunge deeper into space, larger and larger galaxy structures were discovered that could not have formed in the time since the Big Bang. Another anomaly in the Big Bang theory is related to cosmic microwave background radiation and anisotropies. According to the prediction of the Big Bang theory, the cosmic microwave background radiation is a smooth remnant of the initial radiation of the Big Bang. But observations show that cosmic microwave background radiation is so smooth at large scales that there is very little time at the Big Bang for different regions of the sky to reach equilibrium. To solve this problem, scientists predicted that an unknown force called inflation created an exponential phase in the Big Bang. This force blew up the universe so fast that it smoothed out all the asymmetries. But observations show that the small anisotropies in the cosmic microwave background radiation were much smaller than predicted. This required further revisions to the Big Bang theory. As a result, free variables such as dark matter density ordinary matter density, dark energy density, and additional fitting parameters were needed to make the predictions fit the observations. Another anomaly in the Big Bang theory is related to the problems encountered in the measurements of the Hubble constant. Beginning in 2014, the measurements of the Hubble constant, which is accepted as the expansion rate of the universe, started to disagree with each other. Measurements from distant universe were about 10% lower than measurements from the near universe, and the uncertainties in these measurements were around 2%. A 10% difference with 2% uncertainty statistically indicated a crisis. More than 300 solutions have been proposed to solve this crisis. Neither of these proposals has been accepted by cosmologists by consensus. The crisis is getting worse day by day. Another of the most important crises of the Big Bang Theory is that it predicts the existence of dark matter and this prediction cannot be proven with observations. Despite extensive experiments to find them, these mysterious particles have never been observed in the laboratory. However, there is ample evidence that dark matter does not exist. In particular, observations of the movements of galaxies show that dark matter does not exist. As a result, we can say that the Big Bang Theory is experiencing the processes predicted by Kuhn. The Big Bang Theory is the fundamental paradigm of today's science. New anomalies are constantly emerging in the theory. Instead of changing the paradigm, scientists are trying to come up with new explanations to solve the crisis, as Kuhn predicted. Explanations developed to solve crises lead to bigger crises. To summarize, there are two possible scenarios for the future. In the first scenario, scientists will solve the problems of the Big Bang Theory and this theory will continue to be the main paradigm of science. In the second scenario, the crisis will deepen and result in a scientific revolution. If there will be a scientific revolution, it cannot be predicted today what kind of cosmological theory we will have instead of the Big Bang Theory. However, if such a revolution takes place, 
The Big Bang Theory may disappear into the dusty shelves of history after a few generations, just like other obsolete theories. Do you think scientists will be able to solve the crisis of the Big Bang Theory, or will a new scientific revolution take place? Write your opinions in the comments, and let's discuss.